Hi friends, welcome to Venki's channel. In the previous video, we have learnt about an order list. Today we are going to learn about definition list. So let's open Sublime Text and open this file in browser. Now let's minimize Google Chrome and let's minimize Sublime Text too. And let's learn why are definition lists used. So, as you can see here, I have made a definition list. Definition list means a list which contains definitions of many words. Here, I have written the definition of HTML, the definition of HTML tags, and the definition of empty tags. Like this, you can make a list of as many definitions as you want. So, in definition lists, the heading is called as the definition term and its definition is called as definition data. So let's go to sublime text now and let's add a definition list. To add a definition list we use the dl tag and between the dl tag we have to mention the definition term and the definition data. So for definition term we use the dt tag so our definition term is html and i'm including a colon and after that we have to include the definition data so in the next line let me include a dd tag for definition data we use the dd tag so let me copy the definition of html and then paste it in sublime tag Now let me save my changes and then refresh the browser. Now you can see that this is in the form of a definition. The term is on the top and its definition is below it like this and it has a bit of gap before it. Now let's add another DT tag because we want to add another definition. And now our definition term is HTML tags. And in the next line, let's add a dd tag. And now, let's go to wordpad and copy the definition of html tag. And let's paste it in sublime text. Now, let's go back to google chrome and refresh the web page. Now you can see that html tag is appearing as a term and the definition is below it. You can see that there is only one line change here, so it does not look good. So we can manually add a BR tag after this DD tag. Now I have added a BR tag and let's save our changes and refresh the browser. Now it looks good. Now let's add another definition term. So let's add a DD tag. And in between the dt tags, let's write empty tags. And in the next line, let's add a dd tag and let's copy the definition of empty tags. And let's paste it in sublime text. Now let's save our changes and refresh the browser. Again, let's add a br tag. Now let's save our changes and refresh the browser. Friends, with this we have finished learning about all the three types of lists in HTML. Bye friends.